Morning, everybody. Welcome to our match day. This is the first time since the pandemic happened that we are having an in-person match day. So this is a very exciting time for Meharry Medical College. I would like to introduce our platform guests and our faculty envelope presenters whom your graduates have chosen. We have Mrs. Carmen Jones, she's walking up and down. We have Mr. Joseph uh, Long. We have Dr. Jeanette Southpaw, she's the Chief Academic Officer of the college. We have our esteemed President and CEO, Mr. Dr. James E. K. Hildreth. We have the Chairman of the Board, Dr. Nelson Adams behind me. And we have the Dean of the School of Medicine, Dr. Digna Forbes. Our faculty envelope presenters for the class of 2023 are Drs. Tiffany Turner, Emmanuel Atta, Dr. Theodore Pinnock, Ruth Stewart, Dana Marshall, Millard Collins, Calvin Smith, Richard Fremont, LaMonica Stewart, Lloyda Williamson, Flora Ucoli, Amosi Mkoma, and Dr. Paul Madawang. We have a tradition here at Meharry Medical College, the money pot, okay? And we want you all to contribute. So here at Meharry, the administrators, the faculty, the staff, family and friends contribute monetarily to our glass jar found on the stage. We like the stuff that jingles, but we really love the stuff that folds. So President Hildreth, can you come forward and make the first big donation, please? It's a Franklin, by the way. So we are on a strict time schedule, but we will invite family and friends to donate as well, as well as our faculty, as well as, as our administrators on the beh behind me. And at 10.43 exactly, we will be starting our ceremony.
would the class president, Lottie, and the class chaplain, Joseph, come up to the stage, please? Morning, everybody. I am the Senior Associate Dean of Academic Affairs here at the School of Medicine. My name is Dr. Monique foskin Bennerman, and I am your Mistress of Ceremonies for this event today. We would like to have the invocation by Mr. Osoboyan Abiyade, who is the Chaplain of the Class of 2023. So um, if we can just bow our head for prayer, please. Uh, Father God, we thank you that you have guided us through these past four years and brought us here today to celebrate as a culmination of the good work we have done in, in our medical career so far. We take this day, Lord, as a day of thanksgiving, and we are thankful for the journey through medical school that helped us to build character and made our faith stronger. We are thankful to Mehari for giving us the opportunity to achieve our dreams of becoming medical doctors. Uh, it was not an easy journey, but we made it. We are also thankful to you, Lord, for our classmates, for the love and support we have shown each other throughout this journey. Uh, we've been in the trenches. We want to thank you for our mentors and our support systems that supported us through this process. They did not have to, but they dedicated their time to help us achieve our dreams. And Lord, uh, for our families, only you know all the times that we have inconvenienced them, but they have been there supporting us all the way. And most importantly to you, Lord, for a lot of us years ago, this was just a dream. But you are the God that made dreams come true. And today you have made us come true, and we are thankful. We're also thankful for the days ahead as we move to graduation and eventually our respective residency programs. We pray, Lord, for your continual guidance and protection for us to be able to navigate the next chapters of our lives effectively. Now, Lord, we commit this ceremony to you, to your hands, and pray that you bless us and everyone that has come out to celebrate with us and that you make our match a success. In Jesus' name, amen. Joseph just reminded us that good, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Okay. So we will have opening remarks by our president, Dr. James E.K. Hildreth. Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to welcome all the family and friends of our students who have come to enjoy this very special day with us. Certainly in the academic calendar of our college, there are few days that compare to this one in terms of the excitement and the joy that we find in this room. As you heard, this is the first time in three years that we've been able to get together for this event. So I hope you all appreciate how special it really is for that reason as well. And in just a few minutes, uh, for these students, four years of frustration, hard work, caffeine overdoses, frustration, confusion, it's going to be released when they rip open those envelopes and find out where they'll go to start their medical careers. And let me just say how singularly proud we are of all of you and what you've done for our college. Your energy, your, your spirit of, of giving, and the way you support each other ins inspires all of us. So I just want to say congratulations to all of you and best of luck on your journey. And when more than 40,000 students around the country do it all at the same time, that's going to be an amazing thing. And I've heard, a little bird has told me that this class has done exceptionally well. And that's not a surprise to any of us. 
But we're honored today to have the chairman of our board with us, who's a Meharry alum, and he's come up from Miami to be part of this special ceremony. So I'm going to ask Dr. Adams to come and just share a few words. And then you hear from our dean, Dr. Forbes. Thank you so much, Dr. Hildreth. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, oh I don't think you heard me. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice and be glad in it. To you, soon to be doctors, we are just exceedingly proud of you. 45 years ago, I too was a fourth year medical student and anxiously awaiting what was next. Martin Luther King's book, the last book that he wrote was entitled, Where Do We Go From Here? That question's about to be answered for you guys. <laughs> and I just encourage each of you never to forget the journey. Could have been anybody. Lots of folk wanted your seat, but you got it. And to whom much is given, much is not only expected, but required of you. And so I encourage each of you to vow this day to be the best version of yourselves that you can be. Somebody ought to say amen to that. Amen. And, and I want you to remember it this way. I'm going to engage all of you this morning because we're about to celebrate. I'm going to say it, then repeat after me and say it like you mean it. Good, better, best. Good, better, best. Never, Never let, it let it rest. Not until my good, until your, good, your good, our good, our good becomes our better, and our better becomes our best. Good morning and congratulations. Wow, to follow a preacher. <laughs> Welcome students, faculty, family members, and staff. I am Dr. Digna Forbes, Interim Dean of Meharry School of Medicine. I am honored to stand before you and congratulate the class of 2023 on this year's match. Students, we are just minutes away from the beginning of your next chapter. Be proud of yourselves. The 2023 match was extremely competitive and you have represented Meharry well. Many compare match to the NFL draft. In some respect, this is true. After 12 years of primary school, four years of undergraduate studies, and four years of medical school, you have earned this moment. The results of your hard work, sleepless nights, and triumphs are within your envelope. We all know how long you have waited for this day. As you open your envelope and learn where you will complete your medical training, remember you have been chosen for a reason. Do not let doubt enter your mind. Do not let imposter syndrome cloud your thoughts. You have been purposefully selected and equipped for the task at hand. As you begin your next new journey, know that we are here to support you and cheer you on. Meharry will always be a home for you. The, mem the memories you have made, lessons you have learned, and bonds you have built will carry you in the coming years. I would like to thank the families joining us today, the support systems that include partners, husbands, wives, parents, and sometimes children, because none of our students endure the rigors of medical education alone. I would also like to thank our faculty we have done an excellent job in teaching our students the skills and knowledge needed to be successful residents. Finally, thank you, class of 2023, for trusting Meharry with your medical education. We have watched you grow during your time at Meharry and are confident you will be great physicians. You have all the skills and knowledge you need for residency. You have the ability to touch lives around the world. You are sure to stand out among your peers because you are Meharians. Enjoy this moment. We are so proud of you. Woo. 
Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to everyone. My name is Oladi Pupo Anibire, and it is, it is an honor to serve as the president for the class of 2023. Dr. Benjamin told me I must keep this speech at two to three minutes, so I'm going to do my best to obey her because I do not want to get summoned to the Office <laughs> of Academic Affairs. <laughs> You know, I see, I see I have like one more elective, so I'm not a doctor yet fully, so yeah. <laughs> it is wonderful to see so many beautiful faces, smiling faces in this room. In a few minutes, we would all be jumping for joy, celebrating where we'll be spending the next four years of our lives. I cannot help but think back to the very beginning when we started medical school. Our minds were filled with so many emotions, ranging from anxiety to excitement for, for what's in store over the next four years. We have shown great resilience and tenacity during our time at Meharry. Shortly, so shortly after we began medical school, we were hit with a tornado and then a pandemic. Not only did we successfully navigate our preclinical and clinical years, we also rallied together and supported the Nigerian community in such unprecedented times. And then we went through clerkships with, um, and shortly after finishing clerkship, um, and in, in the months that followed, we had to sit for our board exams, complete away rotations, apply for interview for residency. Class of 2023, we should be very, very proud of how far we've come. Getting to this point took a village. We all have prayer warriors who have interceded on our behalf since birth. We are blessed with loved ones who have made countless sacrifices on our behalf. We are blessed with faculty and staff who have supported and guided us throughout our time at Meharry. It is not an overstatement to say we will not be where we are today without our village. I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Benman for his support over the years. Thank you so much for your leadership in assisting our class in obtaining your question bank, which was very essential in preparing us for our board exam. I also want to thank Dr. Pinnock for taking the time to regularly meet with our class and, um, and you know, and encourage us, provide guidance for us, and also provide us with delicious cake. God bless you to the both of you. And if I may add real quick, um, Dr. Atta, thank you so much for the jokes um, during our preclinical years. And I don't know whether you're aware, but um, Rihanna has been taking, you know, ASAP Rocky actually <laughs> uh, taking it now. She has a couple of kids now, so I hate to break it down to you. Um, we will all be opening our letters shortly. Regardless of where we land in our list, I truly believe the program we see in that letter is where we're meant to be. It's meant to, it's, it's where we're meant to thrive as a resident. The program in those letters saw our potential and felt, and felt we brought something unique to their program. I know that we will all excel in residency without a shadow of a doubt. Medical school has been stressful to say the least. It has been so stressful. True story. I remember one time I saw one of my classmates' wig turn gray. You know, how you know how stressful medical school has to be for your week to turn great? That is how stressful it's been. <laughs> and some of you are probably looking at me like, you know, this guy's got on a, you know, African cap. The only reason why I have it on is because so you guys don't see my receding hairline. <laughs> so I don't want to embarrass my wife and, uh, you know, the, my whole family in front of the whole crowd. So I had to, like, you know, make something do. Um, so please open up your letters. Go out and celebrate with your family and friends. We have earned this celebration. Thank you. We will now play the video of the class of 2023. And then after the video has played, we will have our faculty envelope presenters give out the envelopes to the prospective graduates, okay? So let's enjoy this video. Look how far you've come and how much you contributed and how much you keep pushing. Contributed. Forget the fear, forget the doubt, forget the fear, forget the doubt, keep investing and keep betting on yourself. And congratulations. with gold. gold yeah we worked and built 
this on our own. I'm a big crip. If I got up on a lean, I'm a sip sip. I run the racks up with my queen, like learning to nip. But I got rich on all these, I didn't forget back. I had to go through the struggle, I didn't forget that. I hopped inside of the Maybach and now I can sit back. Deep know me now, cause I got them big racks. Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now, baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down, baby. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town, baby. Where did these be at when they said they're doing all this and all that? I'm in the trenches, relax. Can you not pay that little boy in the club? Cause we do not listen to rest. We in Atlanta, I buy her wig. She telling me Tay is the best. Point at the who act like a killer, but you only one from the net. I'm like the baby, I'm not just a rapper. You play with me, you won't get stretched. And the money's hard to make, so I bet they on their face right now. I was, I was no, I just, I just, it's just been, a, it's been a long fight. It's been a long fight, and I just had to have a warrior spirit. And I've Got red bottoms on. His life is good. You know what I mean? Like, like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I guess the shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. I go for mine. I guess the shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. I'm still on the TV, mama. I'm a, I'm a put it Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Have you ever popped champagne? Why getting some? She said I never seen snakes on a plane. Whether you broke or rich, you gotta get this. Having money's that everything that having it is. I was splurging on trips, but when I get my car back activated, I'm back to Vegas. Cause I always had a passion for flashing. Before I had it, I closed my eyes and imagined the good life. Better than the life I lived when I thought that I was gonna go crazy. And now my grandma ain't the only girl calling me baby. We did it. 
The pressure is getting We are at 20 seconds, 20 seconds. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
seat so we can find out where people are going. Hello. <laughs> can you all please have the seat so we can find out where these great results are. Thank you. Okay, my name. Let's roll. Hello, everybody. If everybody can have their seat, can everybody have their seat? <laughs> Thank you. We are all ecstatically awaiting to find out the wonderful places that you all are going. So can I have my graduates line up in two lines on that wall and this wall? Come up to the stage and bring your envelope, bring your envelope because you will put it into that multicolored box so that you can win all this money sitting on the stage, okay? Everybody line up, two walls. <clears throat> and let us know the wonderful places that you're gonna go. Calvin, tell her to come on up. Right. Come on guys, let's line up on the wall. We have tons of family members and friends who want to find out where you are going. Students, please remember your time limit. After you tell us where you're going, stick a pin in the, drop your envelope in the box, stick a pin in the map. Let's go. Come on. We want you front and center. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo. 
Okay, my time start now. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, first, just giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. Uh, this has been such a... Everybody, you have a classmate up here who is willing to share her story. Everybody's family and friends wants to hear everybody where they're going. Okay? 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, just giving honor to God. Um, I'm just so happy to be here. Um, I have to thank my parents. I think one kid worked out for y'all. Um, <laughs> I have to thank my grandparents who are all watching near and far. I love all four of y'all so much. Thank you to my aunts who are here, my godmother, my Aunt Riri, my friends who are watching. Hey, y'all. My Riceville family, love y'all. Thank you for sending love to you from Houston. Um, I've had this dream since I was five, and I'm just so happy. Thank you, Granny, for taking me to the hospital with you and letting me work with you and seeing that I could sit in the hospital all day because... Now I get to stay there all day. Um, and I'm just so excited that I have been saying this since I got here, that I matched my number one at Morehouse School of Medicine. <laughs> Catch me in the A. Love you guys. I am Autumn Ackland. Hello, everyone. Uh, like my friend last year said, uh, delayed but not denied. Right. Finally here. Um, I want to dedicate this moment to the community I come from uh, that nur nurtured me and forged me into the man I am today. Uh, this is for the undocumented community. Uh, thank you to my letter writers and mentors. You know who you are. Uh, to my beautiful partner sitting out there. Uh, you have been with me at my lowest of lows and my highest of highs, and I can't wait to give you the world, ba uh, the world, baby girl. Uh, para mis padres, sin ustedes no soy nada. Su sacrificio y su apoyo es lo que es lo que convirtió este sueño en una realidad. Y mil gracias. Uh, with that said, uh, Alberto Tejada. Uh, I matched into emergency medicine at the University of Massachusetts. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Garen Hasty Peggins. I am um, just so thankful to be here. I've been at Meharry for five years, started in the basement in MHS, and God is good. God is good. I've wanted to be a doctor my whole life, and I'm going to be one. Um, <laughs> I want to give thanks to my parents, my siblings, my grandparents, my friends, her and her family. Um, I just want to dedicate this moment to the angels who are not physically here, but are here in spirit with me. Um, I'm going to be taking, I also want to thank my husband, Aparicio Peggins, um, who's taking his licensure exam right now, but I will be going to the University of North Carolina, my number one choice, and I'm going to be an anesthesiologist. <laughs> My name is Madison Monroe. Uh, first off, I would like to thank God for everything, for making this possible. I couldn't have done it without God in my faith. Um, thank you to my mom for being there every step of the way and always supporting me when I needed her. Thank you to Scott, Parker, Reese, Landon, Grammy, Howard, Pudge, Peggy, Aunt Missy, Aunt Jennifer, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> um, Thank y'all for believing in me and for supporting me. And to all my family and friends, thank you for your love and all your prayers. Um, it's been a roller coaster of a journey, but I'm here and <laughs> I'm very proud to be here. And lastly, I want to thank my dad, who is here in spirit and always instilled in me 
the importance of hard work and education. And thank you to my letter writers, Dr. Nadeko, Dr. Kiefer, Dr. Bean, and Dr. Smith. Thank you, Ms. Pettis Mays, for being there and encouraging me, especially during my first year. And finally, thank you to Meharry for giving me the opportunity to be the first doctor in my family. And I am going um, to Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla, New York, my first choice in pediatrics. <laughs> I'm really excited today. My name is Tanisha Adams, and I'm about to announce what I'm going before I even say anything. Okay. So I just want to thank God for, first of all, placing this dream in my heart and allowing me to really see it through, because not everybody gets to. I want to thank my mom for showing me, like, what passion and dedication is, and I want to thank my dad for being my very best, my very best friend all these years. I want to thank my brother, who's also here at my Harry, Anthony, for inspiring me just as much as I've inspired you. I want to thank my best friends, Khadija, uh, for going through this whole journey with me, also from the basement, from MHS, <laughs> and all of my girl tribe. <laughs> Ashley, Gina, Chanel, all of you guys. I want to thank my grandmother, who's here today also. I love you. And my aunties who fed me when I was hungry all those random days. Thank you so much. Um, I'm happy to announce that I am going into psychiatry and child and adolescent psychiatry at my number one choice at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Maurice Morgan, and first and foremost I want to say thank you to my wife who saw this boy with a crazy dream run around Universal Orlando and said, hey, we're gonna do something together, and now we're here, and she supported me every single step of the way. I wanna also thank my mother, my brothers and sister, Orette, Melissa, Michael, and Malcolm, who have made sure that I did not want for anything while I was here. I want to thank my in-laws, Dave, Teresa, and all their kids, Molly, Jillian, and Jack, who have come through and helped with my son. I want to thank Jay and Michelle specifically. They've been here in Nashville holding us down the whole time. And then lastly, but not least, I want to thank everyone who was part of that original study group, Amari, Kardim, Shaq, Tanisha, Felix, Kier, and all the many other classmates who have seen my tears, who have seen my joy, my laughter, and helped me get to this point. Lastly, I would like to actually thank uh, the folks at home, Lance, Chanel, Danielle and Monique, who made sure that I was okay this first year while I was up here by myself. Um, with all that being said, I want to announce that I matched into psychiatry at my number one choice, Hartford Hospital. Thank you. And then thank you to the letter writers and Dr. Nkoma especially, and Dr. Turner, who got me through some tough times during first year. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jasmine Blair. Um, first and foremost, always giving honor to God and just him bringing me along this journey. Um, secondly, to my parents, my mother who is physically here and my father who is spiritually here. Thank y'all for always believing in me and pushing me to go to higher heights and loving me unconditionally. I'm just grateful to be a product of your love to my grandparents who I didn't get to meet, but I still walk in their legacy of love and companionship to my big three, which also concludes my mother, my big sister, Talika, and my other big sister, Shamia. Thank you for every single prayer call, every covering, every time that you whisper my name to God, I thank you. And also to my brothers, Lindsay and Clayton, who could not be here. 
and to my entire family and to my friends who have come near and far. I know y'all are watching. I can't wait to celebrate with all of you. To my best friend, Jada, who's been on every FaceTime call studying with me. To my cousin, Marie, who's just been a super big support, especially this year. And then also to the Meharry faculty for giving a chance on me. I did the impossible thing and I only applied to Meharry because I knew where I wanted to go. So I thank y'all for taking a chance on me. To my letter writers, Dr. Garrett, Dr. Moses, and Dr. Saeed, thank you so much for and just putting out good words and really believing in this journey. And lastly, to Gine Girlies, Mary, Ajaya, Autumn, and Maya, thank y'all for getting me through these four years. Couldn't have done it without y'all. So without further ado, I matched into OBGYN. I'm going to my number one at U Texas, University of Texas Medical School, Houston. Hello, everyone. My name is Mariana Ivanich, and I just want to thank my entire support system, my mom, my dad. Oh, I wasn't going to get nervous up here, but I'm nervous. Um, my boyfriend, Matt, um, Sue, uh, my entire Tennessee family, my friends from Meharry, my friends at home. Thank you all for giving me the strength and the support I needed to keep pushing towards my dream career. And thank you, Meharry faculty and staff, for giving me this opportunity. And I am very happy to announce that I matched. I'm going home to the Bay Area. I matched internal medicine at Highland Hospital in Oakland, California. Try to get through this without being too emotional. Um, I gotta say, the power of words is really uh, true. Before I ever interviewed, I told my mom exactly where I wanted to go, where I felt like I was gonna go. Um, she told me to be very intentional, speak it into existence, pray about it. I want to thank my family, my biggest support system, my mom and my sister, my dad, who are here with me. Um, my grandmother Lois, everybody on the prayer calls every Monday night who's prayed for me to make it to this point. My heavenly grandmother, Grandma Bev, who just wanted to see me um, make it this far. All my best friends who made the trip to come up here, all the ones who didn't. My five sisters, y'all know who y'all are. I thank all of you, um, Harry, for giving me the opportunity to become a medical student and to become a doctor and just form me into the person I am. Um, so without further ado, I matched into plastic surgery at my number one choice, the University of Texas Medical Branches in Galveston, Texas. Oh. Good morning, everybody. My name is Stephanie Eloise Smith. Um, I don't like speeches or crowds, and I don't like crying in front of them either, so this is going to be very quick. Um, <laughs> everybody in this room who has my heart, you know how I feel. Um, glory to God. He definitely knows how I feel. <laughs> Thank you to my letter writers. Um, they're more like role models because they showed me exactly how a young learner is supposed to be treated and supported. So I thank my letter writers, um, mom and dad, the love of my life. My sister is here with me. <laughs> My family that's not here, I love them as well. Um, Omidney and Amy, my everything. Tia is my everything. And um, without further ado, I mentioned the pediatrics at UAB, Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I first and foremost want to thank my Heavenly Father for making a way out of no way for his grace, mercy, and favor of um, else which I would not be here. My mom for all your sacrifice and being such a strong example of a woman who can do anything. My dad for always being my biggest fan and my parents 
for being my support system throughout life. Chris, my brother, my first best friend, and for always keeping me grounded. My beautiful child here, Channing, who has continued to inspire and push me throughout this process. I'm so proud to be your mom. This is for all the moms who are still chasing their dream. Do not give up. Thank you to my whole village in Detroit, all the Ernst, my grandfather, the first Dr. Ernst, my grandma, one of my role models, my Dr. Gordon, my pediatrician, who's the reason why I knew I wanted pediatrics at six years old, my East Coast family, my Aunt Pammy, who's here, my grandparents, and all the Gibbs family, my grandparents that are in heaven, and all those who have gone before me, my godparents. Aunt Melise, Melanie, and my Aunt Kamala for always making me believe I can do anything. My cousins, Alex, who's here. The Beasleys for supporting me and my support system here in Nashville. My med sisters, Genesis and Rachel, who is my crew who helped me fight this battle through prayer and encouragement. I'm so thankful for you all. All my best friends, everyone watching. My line sisters and prayer partners, all my letter writers, Dr. Johnson, Barnwell, Barkin, my mentors, Dr. Um, Debon, Dr. Pinnock, Dr. Mkoma, and Kiefer, I couldn't name them all, but Dr. Ross, who told me to apply here to Meharry, um, this institution, and everyone who's watched this journey, all the non-traditional older medical students, please let me be a living testimony that you can do anything through faith, hard work, and persistence. And without further ado, I match into pediatrics at my number one Children's National in DC. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Shay Stokes. Uh, I'd like to thank my family who's here today, my aunt, my mom, my grandmother, uh, my grandfather who I think is here with me in spirit today, Grumpy. Uh, I want to thank my friends here and back home. Uh, and then also I want to thank the school and faculty here for helping me get here today. Uh, I'm happy to say that I'm going home. I matched internal medicine at Methodist Memphis. <laughs> thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Genesis James, and most of y'all know that I matched back in December in the military match, so I already knew where I was going, but I'm so glad to be here today with all of my classmates. I'm so happy for y'all. I was like excited like I didn't already know where I was going because <laughs> I'm super happy for you guys, but I just want to thank my mom and my brother who are here today. Um, I want to thank my dad who is not here. He's in California on active duty with the Army, but he helped me get into the military and he told, told me everything that I needed to do and he helped me get through that way and I get to graduate with zero debt. So shout out to my dad and my mom and my brother for that. I want to shout out to um, my med sisters, Micah and Rachel. Y'all, we have been together since the beginning in the trenches, and we have really got it out the mud, you guys. Um, and I want to thank all my letter writers, all of my mentors, my research mentors. I want to thank Dr. Freeman. Um, she was my undergrad mentor and my undergrad advisor who helped me get into the BSMD program that Meharry offered and allowed me to get on this track. Um, so without further ado, I meshed into pediatrics at my number one choice at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Ilya uh, Zajevich. I'm a first generation doctor and I'm super excited to say I matched that uh, into internal medicine at LSU. So, uh, so see y'all in New Orleans. Alrighty, I'm Terry Henry um, from Omaha, Nebraska. Um, definitely, you know, excited to be here. Glad I matched. Um, yes, you know, I'd like to thank my grandparents, um, rest their beautiful souls, and you know, my family. Um, I'd like to thank Anki, um, Amboss U World, uh, and 
my mentors, of course, um, my ophthalmology mentors for sure. And um, yeah, you know, let's, let's eat. So, oh yeah, um, I matched, <laughs> my fault, my fault. So I matched ophthalmology at VCU in Virginia. Morning, everybody. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to give all thanks and glory to God. Um, without his grace, I would not be in the position that I am today. Um, I want to express my gratitude to those who've supported me along the way. I want to give a shout out to my parents, my mom and my dad, my family, my village, my frat brothers, my friends in the group chats, Trab, BT, all of y'all. Um, I'd also like to thank Meharry for this opportunity. Uh, leaving pharmacy school to, you know, pursue medicine was a huge risk, but huge reward, as you can see. Um, I'd also like to thank my letter writers, Dr. Collins, Dr. Adams, and um, Dr. Kevin Chapp, and for his mentorship. And without further ado, I'd like to announce that I'm going back home and that I've mastered to anesthesiology at UT Houston. Hey everybody, my name is Maya Amira Bragg. I'm from born and raised in the 309, Peoria, Illinois. First and foremost, I just wanted to say thank you, God, because without him, I would not be here, and I am just so thankful that I'm able to walk in my God-given purpose every day for the rest of my life. Um, I want to say thank you to my mom and dad, because without all of their hard work and the sacrifices that they made for me, I would not be here today um, talking to you all. So I love you all so much. I want to say um, thank you to my heavenly grandmother, Elma, my grandma Slaughter, and my aunt Anita for showing me what it means to be a strong, powerful black woman. There have been great examples for me. I want to say thank you to everybody else who's just giving me a, a, a helping hand along the way. I'm not the type of person that likes to ask for help. So thank you to my Uncle David, Aunt Deborah, Aunt Dean, um, Johnny. Thank you to my, my letter writers and mentors, Dr. Garrett, Dr. Mkoma, Dr. Hills, and Dr. Patel. And just thank you to all my mama's prayer warriors. They held me down in the toughest of times, always keeping my name lifted to, to the Lord. And last but not least, I just want to say thank you to my guy and girlies, Jasmine, Autumn, Ajaya, Mary Mary. We made it through the trenches. They held me down in the darkest of times because, baby, COVID was a little dark. <laughs> but we made it through, and we're here, y'all. And I wanted to say that I am going back to the boot. I matched in OBGYN at LSU New Orleans. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Jonathan Quatang, and really uh, kind of shocked to be here right now, but I'm here, so um, man, I, everyone that supported me from my, uh, my mom, my brother, my grandparents, and my, just everyone that's encouraged me and really encouraged my dreams, and even when I didn't believe in them. Um, whew, wow. This is, um, so... I just, ooh, okay, yes, I'm just glad that to say that I matched surgery at the University of Toledo. So, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Zaid. I'm uh, really happy to be here. Um, I really want to thank my mother and my father and my sister, uh, Miriam. Uh, they've really helped and supported me as well as all my friends. Uh, I really also want to um, 
thank my advisor, Dr. M. Koma, for helping me and my letter writers and uh, the internal medicine department, uh, Dr. Fremont, um, for, uh, I think, helping prepare me for residency um, and uh, vouching for me uh, as I applied to these programs. Um, I mastered one of my top choices, uh, internal medicine at University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Good morning, everyone. My name is Maylander Menard, and I am so thankful to be here. I am also one of the fortunate people who got to match early, so I know where, I've, where I'm going. But I did want to use this moment to give my testimony and thank God and give him all the glory and all the honor, because I would not be here if not for him and his mercy over my life. I want to also thank my mother, who's always loved me and believed in me. I would not be here today without her. I want to thank my siblings and my youngest brother, who was able to make it today. And I want to thank all of my friends and classmates, Starbucks Hall of Fame. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout this journey. And I am going to say where I'm going for just a second. Oh, and I matched ophthalmology if I didn't say that. What's good, everyone? I want to say first and foremost, all glory to God. Thank you, God. Um, Mom, Dad, Woldy, Josh, love you guys. Thank you all for all the support. Tessie Mildred, thank you for making the trip up here. All, our, all the family, friends watching, love you all. Appreciate you. Tatsy, I love you. Um, my partner, May, we did it. I want to thank <laughs> um, Mari, Shaq, Morgan, Tanisha, Ryan, Rocio, Mal, um, Nas, we did it, POE, Starbucks Hall of Fame, Procrastination Group Chat, Seattle, Still Familia, the greatest academic society that w to live, all my letter writers, Dr. Williamson, Dr. Smith, Dr. McKenzie, Dr. Stewart, and Dr. Jindal. I also want to thank Dr. Turner, Dr. Collins, all the support you've given, Dr. Benjamin, Mr. Long, you guys, thank you. Only, only you guys know the conversations we've had, so thank you so much. And, uh, you know, God, God has a sense of humor. I, when I interviewed Tamir Harry, I said, God, I just need one interview, so he gave me one interview, and this was my only one. After this, I said, God, we're not doing that again. We're going to have a lot more. <laughs> and then I said, all right, God, this is my number one, but, you know, we'll see what's going to happen. And we serve a faithful God. He allowed it to happen. I've matched in my number one program in combined family medicine psychiatry at Boston. <laughs> Couples match. I want to thank God from my village. Um, I wouldn't be here without them, and I'm a product of my village. <sighs> my mom, for praying me through graduate school, praying for my proteins to make sure they stayed alive. <laughs> Dad, giving me the confidence that I didn't have. My two best friends, my sisters, Ebony, it's here. Thank you for my friends, study partners, getting me through step. It's been a long time. It's been many years. And um, thank you, Kirk. Thank you for family who's not here as well. And um, I managed anesthesiology and research combined program at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, Kamar Small, born in Spanish Town, Jamaica. And I, I'm just here to thank everyone that's been, been here with me. I thank my sisters, Petrina and Latoya, after my parents left, they were there to care, care for me. I thank my wife, Thank Joshua, my roommate, 
you know, it was there for me during this week. It was a tough week. Thank my mentors, Dr. Eagle. Thank Dr. Kiefer, Dr. Cummings, Dr. Johnson, and everyone who was there for me. And I'm proud to announce I'm out of emergency medicine at Duke in North Carolina. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I've come a long way. It's, uh, it's quite funny. Um, I don't know if some of you remember from first year, when I had, uh, whenever I got the mic, I would just start stuttering. <laughs> Um, and, you know, uh, first and foremost, um, I want to thank God. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Pinnock. Um, definitely would not be here uh, without her. Um, she really helped me. Um, even just during my interview, she, you know, she just said, just calm down. It's going to be okay. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, just reset. But, um, and, uh, you know, actually, I'm, I'm just happy to start uh, getting a check, <laughs> you know. I, I remember about about a month ago, I just yelled at the top of my lungs by myself. I was like, "I'm sick of being broke. I'm sick of it." <laughs> no, but um, I'm you know first uh, generation physician in my family, and I'm um, extremely happy and excited to be where I am. Thank you, Miss Pettis Mays. Um, uh, you know you were really instrumental um, in helping me, as well as Dr. Pinnock, um, when my mother had uh, her open brain surgery after her uh, ruptured aneurysm during my first year of med school. Um, and, I, and thank you, Mom, for, for always believing in, in, believing in me. And, um, <laughs> and um, uh, thank, thank you to, uh, to my brother, Andre, for um, you know, leaving his job to go take care of my mother um, while I stayed in med school. Um, um, and I'm just, I'm just glad, I'm just glad uh, to be here. And uh, congratulations, Mom, for getting your uh, associate's degree last year after your accident. Uh, thank you to all my professors. Um, uh, and sorry for people that I forget. Sorry, I'm just like filled with a lot of emotions right now. Uh, and I'm happy to say I'm at uh, interventional radiology at Vanderbilt University. <laughs> everyone, my name is Leilani. Um, I want to thank my parents first, and I want to thank my best friend who is here right now. I would also like to thank my grandma. Um, she will call me every, almost every day of the week and tell me to eat, study, and go out and party, so <laughs> shout out to her. And my cousin who's in the OR right now, he asked for a shout out, so <laughs> cousin, we made it. <laughs> and I want to thank my, um, my letter writers, my lovely classmates, I couldn't do it without you guys. And I'm glad to say I'm going home to Seattle. I am Virginia Mason. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name's Ben Aiken. Um, man, it feels good to be employed. And um, <laughs> I only have a minute to thank all the people that have gotten me here and really just want to say thank you to my family and really my second family, um, Hannah Porter's uh, family, who we've been couples matching and they, they brought me in during the pandemic. Um, and also want to say thank you to um, my Meharry family as well. Um, really, it's been such an honor and blessing to get to know every single one of you. And I know we're going to do really big things in this world. And I just, I'm, I'm truly blessed to know each of you. And uh, with that being said, also, um, you know, my partner, Hannah, we've been doing long distance. She's at Thomas Jefferson um, do, in match day right now, too. And uh, I just want to say that we successfully couples match. We're going, <laughs> we're going down to LSU New Orleans. And, and I'm doing emergency medicine.
Good morning, everyone. So, my name is Kristen Malone. Yeah, I'm short. It's a little, it's a little tall. <laughs> so, um, I want to first say thank you to God because without him, I would not have made it anywhere near this point. And I just want to thank him for ordering my steps. I want to thank my family, um, especially my mom, who has, like, listened to me cry and vent and has just been there every step of the way for this journey. I want to thank my, my dad for always having an encouraging thing to say when I'm feeling down. And also my little sister, Kayla, who's also here today. <laughs> I also want to thank all of my um, other family and friends who have been just so encouraging and excited for me as I will be the first doctor in my family. <laughs> I also want to uh, thank Meharry for taking a chance on me. Meharry was my only interview and all I needed was one. And I'm here. <laughs> um, I also want to thank all of my letter writers and mentors for just giving me so much useful information and just helping me through this. So, without further ado, I matched at my number one choice, LSU New Orleans and OBGYN. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Alua Toby Alawade, and I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. Um, but I am standing before you today as a living testament that nothing and nobody can stand in the way of your blessings. What God has ordained for you, what he has set aside for you and put your name on is yours, okay? I wasn't supposed to be here today, so I want to first thank God. I want to thank him for his faithfulness and his blessings. I want to thank my parents for supporting me, the OG Dr. Alawade. I want to thank my sisters for believing in me when I did not believe in myself, my family here and abroad, the real med students of Nashville, <laughs> um, my squad, the crew, you know who you are, my big boat, my village, uh, the class of 2023, we all eat, y'all. I would have never done this without you. Um, my letter writers, my mentors, and the black women in OB who came before me and helped me get to this point. So I am proud to say that I successfully soap matched into my chosen specialty, and I will be an OB guy in Emma Harry. <laughs> Thank you, Meharry, for giving me another chance. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Ajaya Murphy. Um, first, I would love to give all the glory to God. Um, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to be here. He knows I talk to him every single day. Um, my parents, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You're so loving. You're so supportive. I couldn't be here without you, and I love you. Thank you. Um, I would love to thank my auntie, Aunt Georgie. She's my girl. Um, my grandma, who's not here today. Sorry. <laughs> OK, sorry. I would like to thank all my friends. I can't say all your names, but you know who you are and I love you. All my family, thank you for all the support. Thank you for always believing in me. My letter writers, um, Dr. Hills, Dr. Garrett, Dr. Bates, Dr. Lampkin, thank you so much. And everyone who supported, for, supported me, prayed for me over the years and just believed in me while I've been on this journey, this very long journey. Um, anyway, and Meharry, thank you Meharry. <laughs> I am proud to say that I matched in obstetrics and gynecology at Howard University. <laughs> Hello. Um, my name is Kiara from North Carolina. And first, I want to say all glory to God 
Poor child, um, because I was not supposed to be here today. But when God has a calling over your life, there's nothing that can stop that calling. And also my mom, she's here with me today, my role model, my number one supporter. Thank you for listening to me, pushing me, hearing me cry, complain, feeling all of my emotions, because I put my emotions onto her. And also, um, who else should I? My friends and family, my family um, in Ohio, in Atlanta, all, all over the country, thank y'all for your prayers, your thoughts. Um, anyone who has like, just thought of me, sent encouraging words, my friends back home in North Carolina, um, my med school sisters, I love y'all, Tashan, Justine, Kezia, Molly, I love y'all. Um, so, and I'm just so thankful that God brought all of us here today, my classmates, y'all just inspire me. I was just so surprised when I first met y'all because y'all are so good looking and also just a good time and also really intelligent. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> and I just, I just hope that we can stay like good friends and I just, I love y'all. Can't wait to party later. Um, also my therapist, if you need help, please seek therapy. Um, there's nothing wrong with going to therapy. My big Mayaka, she has always spoken light into me, literally from day one. I'm so thankful for her, my big. Um, child, who else? Oh, I just wanna say for anyone who's struggling, who's like failed exams, feel like you're alone, you are not alone. People fail exams and it's okay. Don't live in shame. Don't feel like you can't go to anyone because I lived in shame. I lived with anxiety and not feeling like I'm good enough and God, why me? Why did you put all this, um, these problems on me? But at, in the end of the day, God will give you a testimony. And that's one of the most powerful things you can have. So thank God for my testimony. I love y'all. Class of 2023, the best class Meharry has ever seen. And, sorry, so I already knew where I was matching. I'm in the Navy, so I did military match and I matched in psychiatry at um, Naval Medical Center in Portsmouth, Virginia. <laughs> Love y'all. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to start off by thanking my family. Um, they couldn't be here today, but my mom, my dad, my brother, um, thank you for always having faith in me, for always supporting me, um, always believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself. I want to thank my amazing support system, my family from New York to Texas, all over the country who's been praying for me through this journey. Um, I couldn't have done it without you all, and I'm so thankful for everyone. I want to thank my friends, y'all are watching at home, y'all know who you are, uh, my friends who became my sisters, my line sisters, everyone who's always been cheering me on, supporting me through everything. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I also want to thank my letter writers, Dr. Syed, Dr. Shadri, Dr. Smith, thank you so much for your wisdom, your encouragement, your teachings, I'm so grateful. And um, I also want to thank Meharry. This is the only school that gave me an interview, the only school that saw a doctor in me, and I'm so happy that I'm here today, a future Meharry graduate, and I'm Woo! proud to say that I matched into anesthesiology at Northwestern University. I'm going to Chicago, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan. Uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. I guess I'll start with thanking uh, all the important people in my life. Uh, thank you to my better half, Courtney, to my parents, to my sister, and Jacob, everyone who's supported me uh, along this crazy journey that we found ourselves on. Um, I have to thank Nemours, too. Uh, they took a fresh-faced EMT uh, with no, not a lot of experience and who thought he was going to break the babies and kind of molded him into someone who wanted to go into pediatrics. And uh, I'm extremely thankful to everyone who's gotten me here, my, my letter writers, every, every single person who supported me along the way. Um, and I'm extremely humbled to announce that I match pediatrics and I'm going back to Jefferson and Nemours where my journey began. So, 
Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, tall people problems, you know. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I don't really know what to say. So I'm just trying to try and keep it like brief and short. Yeah. So uh, name is Joshua. You know. Uh, thankful to, to Mehari. You know the entire medicine department, my letter writers, Dr. Anadiko, uh Dr. Smith, <laughs> Dr. Stewart. You know, um, to my friends who like kept me sane. Uh, I mean, COVID was kind of like hard because originally I kind of just like shot myself in. So, you know, they kind of like got me going out again. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'm glad to announce that I marched our entire medicine at uh, Mayo Clinic. Still morning, so good morning, everyone. My name is Asha Cotterell. I'm originally from Long Island, New York. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to not to cry while I'm up here. Um, first, like almost everyone else has done, just glory to God and thank you so much to him for getting me to this position because what's on this paper, I probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> um, thank you to my parents for always believing in me and always pushing me forward and never giving up and um, continuing to support me even when I've made um, radical decisions, <laughs> according to them, like taking a year off of school to research. Um, thank you to my friends, my siblings, um, to a lot of people to list, my family, Dr. Bennerman, thank you so much for encouraging me to apply here. <laughs> um, thank you, Dean Forbes, also, for your words of encouragement. Um, So without further ado, um, I'm heading back home to the Northeast. I'm heading to Yale, and I'm doing a, a surgery program. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Man, first I just want to say thank you for my family who is here. Um, I will never forget packing up that little apartment in Durham. Y'all were packing, I was crying on the floor. Uh, <laughs> excited to come here, but also extremely nervous. Um, I am so excited to be able to celebrate with y'all. Um, I'll never forget our first year. We had a lot going on. We had a kickback every weekend, oh, best semester ever. Uh, then we parted our, our lives, our hearts out um, right before COVID at the house. Y'all remember that? Second round coming soon. Um, but I'm just so appreciative of everyone here today. My letter recommenders who are here in the room, who are not in the room. Um, thank you all so much. Um, one quote that has helped me get through these past few years is your crown has already been bought and paid for. All you have to do is go and get it and wear it. And that is a testament today. All of us, as soon as we got here, our crowns were waiting for us. And now we can officially put them on. And I'll be putting mine on in Philly at UPenn Family Medicine. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Geetha Mariah Coffin, and I'm so excited to be here, and I'm so grateful. And the only thing I have to say is that God has been faithful to me. I only had two interviews to medical school. Meharry gave me a chance, and I also only had two interviews for residency. I did not think I would be here with you guys today, but God has been so good to me. <laughs> Anyone can tell you that you don't get into residency with two interviews. The median number for last year, I've done a lot of statistics. You had to have 14 interviews to match into general surgery, but my God did it with two. <laughs> I was told that I was subpar and by a program director that I would never be a surgeon, but when God promises you something, he delivers. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm not ashamed to say I had two, but I am so proud to say that my God did it with two. I want to thank my mom and my sister and my father, and I'm sad that my grandfather couldn't see this today, but I know he's watching from heaven. I have had so many people praying over me and speaking life over me when I thought that I was subpar and I would never make it, and they would say that God is faithful and he has been, and that is the only thing I will say. I told Miss Jones that if you give me a mic today that I'm gonna preach. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Dr. Adams, the surgery program director. He is a wonderful man. He's not here today. I heard he's on vacation because we have put him through so much. <laughs> but that man gave me a suture board and he said, you're going to make my Harry proud one day. And I just want to thank my friends, Tina, Sammy. <laughs> Sammy's a good guy. He thought I was going to soap, so he was like calling me right away saying we're going to do it. And I said, no, it's already been done. <laughs> I want to thank Rocio. I want to thank Erica. I want to thank Aaliyah, Yuande, Nicole, who couldn't be here today. Everyone, because we had a little prayer group when we were praying over every exam, and now we've made it. <laughs> I want to say that I'm so proud to go to the school that gave me a chance, Northeastern Georgia Medical Center. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Mary Scrabbit. Uh, I want to take a minute to thank my family who's here with me today for being so supportive over the last couple years, for being understanding when I couldn't be there studying or traveling. Um, to all of my Meharry classmates um, who I was on rotations with, we survived our third year clerkships together all over the country. To everyone in my study group, all of my study partners, late nights, and to everybody in the gynecology gang this year, um, I'm so proud of everybody who applied and who matched into ob -GYN. And I am so happy to say that I matched into obstetrics and gynecology at Baptist Memorial in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tanuka Chatterjee, or Tina. I don't wanna cry. Um, <laughs> first of all, thank you God for giving me this opportunity. Thank you Meharry especially for this opportunity as well. Uh, thank you to my letter writers, Dr. Smith, Dr. Kiefer, and my amazing mentors, Dr. Birch, Dr. Seek, Dr. Mukherjee, and um, thank you especially to my parents. <laughs> You've always believed in me. <laughs> and help me believe in myself. <laughs> Thank you, class of 2023. Thank you to my friends. And I'm proud to say that I matched diagnostic radiology at Mount Auburn Hospital at Harvard. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Molly Sewell. I'm very, very happy to be here today. I'll just start by thanking God because he was with me through every test, every study day, every residency interview and all of that and I would not be here if it wasn't for him. Thank you to my peeps that are here, my dad, Tammy, Kiera, Danny, we up. Um, thank you to my family back home in North Carolina, West Virginia, hey Nana. Um, also wanna thank my grandma Wagner who prayed her way for me to get to medical school and passed away my second year of medical school and is here with me spiritually as I match today. Um, thank you to my friends. We did it, y'all. My Meharry friends. I didn't come here knowing anybody, and I feel like I'm leaving with um, my home away from home. So thank you to my Meharry friends, my North Carolina A&T friends, my line sisters. Shouts out to Alpha Phi. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, thank you to my letter writers, Dr. Fremont, Dr. Smith, uh, Dr. Bean, Dr. Panak, and Dr. Wu at UAB. Um, and just a quick message to, I guess, current medical students watching, because I remember watching Match Day when I was a first year, second year, third year, and thinking, I will never make it there. And I will not get here, and I am here today. So if I'm here today, you can be here today. Keep studying, keep pushing. Your time is coming as well. And I'm very happy to say that I matched into the best specialty, Med Peds, at University of Tennessee, Memphis. <laughs> Right. 
Hey everyone, I'm Rocio Bermudez. Um, I can't believe this is actually happening. I think there were days that I really didn't think this day would come, but thank God and my support system, we are here. Um, so first of all, like thank you to my letter writers, Dr. Williamson, Dr. McKenzie, and Dr. Kiefer. Um, thank you to Leland for being a safe space during rotations. Um, thank you to my best friend that I've probably known now for more than 20 years, Kevin. I think he's watching. Um, he was doing his PhD and I would always vent to him and he would vent to me. <laughs> um, thank you to my friends, especially Still Familia. Uh, thank you to my brother-in-law that always told me to study or study <laughs> while I was in dedicated for step. Um, and special thanks to also my sister who has been my rock. She's probably heard me vent the most <laughs> and has helped me through school um, since day one. Uh, thank you to my parents um, who came to this country to give me a better future, and I think that is part of it is being met today. Um, Papi, mami, gracias por todo. Los amo. Esto es de ustedes. And yeah, without further ado, I matched into psychiatry at my first choice at Duke. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, um, I'm Chelsea. Um, so first, I just, I just really want to give glory and honor to God for getting me here. He really saw me through through some great peaks, but also some of the deepest valleys that I've ever been through in these last four years. Um, I want to thank my support system, my family, my parents, my brothers, um, and my grandparents in heaven who are looking down, and I know they're really, really proud. Um, I also want to thank um, my friends here at Meharry, particularly my roommates and best friends, Chez, Jen, Toby. Thank you for being everything that you are. Um, and I want to thank my friends, my friends from Spelman, who pray for me all the time without me even asking and just lift me up. So thank you. Uh, thank you to my partner. Thank you to my mentors and my letter writers and everyone who helped me get me to this day. Um, and helping me believe in myself when I, I didn't. So uh, also shout out to this class. Um, you guys are a really special group. You guys are all gonna do really amazing things and uh, we're gonna take over the world. So without further ado, um, I'm really proud to say I matched OBGYN at Howard and I'll be in DC. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sammy. Um, I'd like to start by thanking God, my family, my friends, you guys know who you are. I definitely wouldn't be able to make it through without you guys. I'd like to especially thank Dr. Fremont, Dr. Smith, um, Dr. Asianbola, and Dr. Katz, and also my mentors and advisors, advisors back in grad school. I'm happy to say I'll be staying here. I'm coming back to Meharry for internal medicine. See you guys next year. <laughs> Cheslin Denise Patton. I'm originally from San Francisco, California. And um, I'm sorry. Um, I want to start by thanking God, who has always taken the little that I've had and made it enough. Um, and that leads me to thank my mother. She's been my biggest support throughout this entire journey. <laughs> and I want to thank my Aunt Denise and my Uncle Greg who are here with me today, all my family that's watching, my Spelman sisters, my sorors, everyone who's prayed for me, everybody that's supported me along this way. I want to thank my letter writers. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you to the faculty at Vanderbilt and at UAB who allowed me to have great sub eyes and wrote me great letters. I thank you so much for those experiences. And I want to thank my friends, Chelsea, Jennifer, Toby, you guys have kept me going these four years and I don't think I would have been able to make it this far without you guys. And I'm so get, glad that God has blessed me with lifelong sisters and you guys. And I want to thank the people who stand here with me in spirit, my grandparents, my Uncle Tyrone that prayed me through step one, and all the people who have just been here for me. And 
my family moved from the South to Chicago during the Great Migration. And I'm proud to say that I am returning to Chicago <laughs> and going to pursue emergency medicine residency at Northwestern. Hello everyone, my name is Gorb. Um, I want to first start off by saying I pretty much had this last week just be a blur by sleeping and playing video games, so that way the time would just come quicker. Um, honestly, my girlfriend and my mom have been more of a nervous wreck than I have, and I want to first thank my mom, Anita, my dad, Sanjeev, and my girlfriend, Cindy. Um, I would also like to thank all my family and friends who are watching right now, especially my uncle, Amit. He helped me, especially during undergrad and during medical school, guiding me through every step of the process. Um, Thank you to everyone who wrote a letter for me, uh, Dr. Smith, Dr. Adams, uh, Dr. Patel in Detroit, and uh, Dr. Clemens over in uh, Vanderbilt. Uh, because of all of you, I made it this far, and I'm very, very happy. Uh, I also want to give a quick shout out to the M1, M2, M3 classes, as well as the D1 classes. They are always asking me uh, where, you know, if I'm excited. They're always encouraging me, always telling me again to my top choice, which I always really appreciated. Um, just want to let you guys know if you're watching, that the journey may seem hard, especially in the beginning, but you won't realize how quick time passes by. Um, in an instant, you will be where we all are standing right now. And without further ado, I'm happy to say uh, I match into anesthesiology and my number one, George Washington in DC. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Riscala, um, or Jennifer Riz Allah, um, which means in Arabic, provision of God. And for me, this is something, it's, it is said that that provision is something that is written for you before you can even think of it. And I just want to thank God, who is the one who has given me the peace that surpasses all understanding. It doesn't matter what, <laughs> what I go through every time. I am relatively, not completely, but relatively unfazed um, because of this peace that I just really can't explain. Um, and I, I just want to thank my parents, um, Michael and Lydia. They are the most amazing parents in the world. And they <laughs> have laid this foundation for me that supported me, um, my mom, who really is gave me this dream initially, and, and my Uncle Paul, um, my teta, my grandma, <laughs> and my, uh, my grandfather, um, who are back home in, in Virginia. And I, um, this class, the, the class of 2023, I should not have had this much fun these last few years. <laughs> and I will never um, take for granted what I received here and just getting to be a part of this legacy is the, the legacy of Meharians is um, an incredible honor for me. Um, and in terms of everyone who got me here, everyone who supported me, sent me a kind word, mentored me, um, and specifically my uh, letter writers, um, Dr. Garrett, Dr. Adams, Dr. Silver, um, Dr. Chen McCracken, Dr. Dixon. Um, I am so grateful for every single, uh, Dr. Hills, <laughs> every single person who wrote me and, and uh, who wrote me a letter. And beyond that, um, I just, I, I just wanna say, it's been my lifelong dream to be in OBGYN or as since I was able to start dreaming. And um, I am so grateful to announce that I matched at uh, in OBGYN at Advocate Health in Chicago, Illinois. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Will Bro. I just want to say, but God, because without him, I would not be here in this position. Um, I want to thank my, my dad, my sister, my brothers at home, um, and especially my mom for showing me how to be 
a great physician, but also a better person, and for her to guide me to this point. Um, I want to thank all my letter writers, Dr. Mkoma, for the guidance, Dr. Smith, um, my mentor, Dr. Ryan Meyer, um, all my angels from above, my grandma, my Aunt Mary, I want to know that they're watching me and, and guiding me through and um, showing me down with blessings. Um, I just want to thank Meharry for giving me a chance. Um, this has always been home for me. Even before medical school, I was working um, at the hospital during undergrad. Um, and so to be here today um, has been a really full circle moment. And I'm a proud third generation future Meharian. And I'm proud to match my number one choice for internal medicine, Emory University. Okay, good morning everybody. I'm Zaria Radford. Um, so I just want to start off first by saying all praise is due to God because he heard and answered so many of my prayers. Um, I just want to say one thing to anybody going through anything, all of the current medical students who are looking forward to this day in the future, just know that what greater promise of success do we have than the trials we have already overcome. I also want to thank my mother, who's in the stands right now, recording me for Facebook, my amazing husband, um, my friends back home, my family, specifically my great-grandfather Gary, my grandfather Gary Jr., and my Aunt Rhea, because they are the OG Meharians, and they paved the way. Um, my Meharry family, my Starbucks group me, everybody that supported me along the way, I just thank you so much, um, and I just love you all so much. Um, you know, the dream is delayed, but not denied. Um, and so without further ado, I just am proud to say that I soap matched into general surgery at Grand Strand Medical Center. So I'll be going to Myrtle Beach. Hey everyone, my name is Yomi Ugaleta. Um, and I just want to start off by thanking God for getting me this far, guiding me on this journey. Um, I also want to give a big thank you to my parents watching on the stream right now. Um, so many sacrifices that you've made for me and my sister for us to be able to get here. Um, and I'm very happy to make you proud. And I want to thank my mom and dad especially again for all the prayers, um, all the calls. Um, I want to thank my grandmother for all the prayers every time we call. She finishes the, the call with some prayers as well. So I'm very thankful for that. I want to thank my letter writers, um, Dr. Kiefer, Dr. Smith, um, Dr. Morgan, uh, and my mentor, Dr. Abel, who's also a Meharry alum. I want to thank all my friends watching back at home. Um, and I'm very happy to announce that I have matched in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Sinai Hospital of Baltimore. So I'm going back home. keep this brief because I know the group chat is talking about me right now. They think I'm going to cry. <sighs> First, I have to thank God for always fulfilling his promises. Um, he brought me here and he kept me and I'm just so grateful to my parents, mom and dad, Bryce, Auntie Rosie, my day ones. Thank you for never doubting that we would be here today and for all the extra cash because I've been broke. <laughs> <laughs> To Josh, my love, thank you. I'm so much better with you. Um, to my family and friends at large, the group chats, the shade room, Team No Chill, thank you. To the Jude crew, I wouldn't be here without y'all. Um, thank you, class of 2023, for just being great. Um, thank you, Meharry, for giving me a seat in this class. I'm eternally grateful. To my letter writers, Dr. Perry, Dr. Williamson, Dr. Chaudhry, um, Dr. McCurgy, to all my other mentors and everyone who has given me an encouraging word along the way, thank you. Um, and if I forgot anyone, thank you. It's a lot of feelings, but I'm happy to announce that I match into the best specialty ever, psychiatry, and I'm going to Eastern Virginia Medical School. <laughs>
Hello, everyone, again. My name is Olati Kupo Anibire, and I want to start by giving thanks to God for bringing me this far. Um, I want to say a special thank you to the love of my life. <laughs> thank you to the love of my life, Kenya, for believing in me, for your encouragement over the years. Thank you for the food, the home-cooked food you brought me. You bring me to West Basic whenever I was studying for my boards. You are my rock, and I love you. I want to thank my beautiful daughter, Naomi. She is the best daughter any parent can ask for. Sorry for all the times I tell you I can't play right now because I have to study. Well, I've matched now, so I have all the time to play, so. <laughs> I also want to thank my parents. My parents are my heroes. They sacrificed a lot for me to get here. You know, I was once an undocumented immigrant, and I had to go pay through college, you know, thanks to my parents for paying my school fees with, with their hard-earned money. I couldn't get student loans, and they had to, like, work multiple jobs to get me through college for four years. So, dad and mom, I'm forever grateful. And to my siblings, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we, have a we have a doctor in the family, and you know, all thanks to God. <laughs> and also to my Trinidadian mother-in-law, who is watching. Your favorite son-in-law is a medical doctor. <laughs> I know, thank you to my little writers, Dr. Law, Dr. Basil Williams, Dr. Bates, my Vanderbilt ophthalmology family. Ms. Kendra Williams, thank you so much wherever you are for sending me to Vanderbilt to rotate in the ophthalmology department because of, that's the only reason I was able to find the specialty and I was able to find interest in it. So thank you, Ms. Kendra Williams, wherever you are. God bless you. And uh, oh, uh, uh, let's see, I'm very happy to announce that I am headed to Iowa. I match into ophthalmology. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Oniloye, Oniloye Joseph. Uh, I was born and raised in Akure, uh, Ondo State, uh, Nigeria. And um, coming here has been a long way. I remember, like, when I was 18, so I was able to, like, come here alone. And uh, it was difficult terms of like everything, uh, friends, family, financially. So, but being able to be here this morning, uh, it was a blessing and something that I will never forget. And uh, this week has been uh, a roller coaster of emotions um, because I have to soap, um, but I still thank God I still came up uh, with what I am really also interested in, and I thank God for that. Uh, I thank God for my lady S being here, supporting me through everything, uh, especially this week, uh, because I've never felt that down before. Uh, I thank uh, my friends, uh, family members, uh, Joshua, Ladi, uh, and the faculty here at Mayari, and I also thank Mayari for giving me the opportunity uh, my letter writers, Dr. Smith, um, Dr. Bradshaw, Dr. Narayan, uh, Dr. Adams, I thank you for your help. Uh, so I marched emergency medicine at our Westside Medical Center, uh, HCA in Florida. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tayo Abdurazak. Um, first, I would like to thank God for just getting me here. And I don't know, life has kind of not necessarily been crazy, but it's just been a journey getting here. Um, I'd like to thank my mom for being my number one cheerleader and always telling me that I could literally do anything that I wanted. 
<laughs> I want to thank my boyfriend for always pushing me and telling me to keep going, to go harder. Um, I want to thank everybody watching from home, my Auntie Booty, um, my friend Levon, my cousin Peem. Also, I want to thank my friend Lena that came today. Thank you. Um, I want to thank my letter writers, um, Dr. Williamson, Dr. Kiefer, um, and Dr. Onadeko. And also my girls that got me through this entire thing, Kelsey, Joel, and Bria. Thank you guys so much. So without further ado, I match into psychiatry at my number one program, Columbia. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? Y'all look good today. Uh, my name is Mike Romaine. I'm from Miami, Florida. Um, <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> um, most praises to the Most High. My little writers, Dr. Smith, um, Dr. Garrett, Dr. Mukherjee, my mentors, Dr. White, as well as um, Dr. Brown at Vanderbilt, um, matched at di in diagnostic radiology, Thomas Jefferson. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kelsey Henderson from Memphis, Tennessee. I will, <laughs> um, I'll start off by thanking God, my family and friends, my parents, my sister, my partner Bronson, my lifelong best friends that are watching at home, and then my med school best friends that I've made forever, Bria, Tayo, and Jewel, my mentors, my advocates, everyone that wrote letters for me, everyone who's been rooting for me as a black girl going into ortho. <laughs> I am so happy to say that I matched into orthopedic surgery at the University of Arkansas Medical Center. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Trevor Thompson, Trevor Quirku, Obeying Thompson to be specific. And I'm from Arlington, Texas. And I know today it seems like I'm on the stage because of my own diligence and hard work, but I do want to take time to acknowledge people that supported me along the way. There are many people that supported me financially, socially, and emotionally. I want to take the time now to highlight them. Um, before I start that, though, I want to give all praise to the most high above. As my mother always told me, you got to keep God in the equation. I was a math major, so uh, <laughs> I want to start with that. And then amongst us mere mortals, I do want to start by thanking my mother. She's made many sacrifices for me to get here today. My father as well. My younger siblings, Joshua, Lauren. Uh, my elder brothers, Marcus and Malcolm. My, three of my first cousins in particular, Janetta. She let me live with her for six weeks while I was studying for the MCAT. Um, who else? Sarah and Emily, they gave me money in college, you know. And then I also want to take time to um, shout out to my letter writers as well. Dr. Calvin Smith, he was instrumental in me being here today. I want to give a shout out to Dr. Millet Collins as well. Uh, I want to shout out um, Dr. Adriana Hung, Dr. Lauren Woodard. These are professors at Vanderbilt. And I want to thank, I want to shout out Dean Bennerman as well for giving me a stern talking to when I really needed it, you know. And I also want to take time to uh, shout out my childhood friends. I want to shout out the members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity uh, Incorporated, Blue Phi Forever. And I also want to take out, I want to shout out my med school friends, Julius, Olu, and the crew, you know. <laughs> and of course, I got to thank Future Hendricks for getting me through school as well. <laughs> and last but not least, I want to thank um, my girlfriend, a beautiful and intelligent soul that I've had the good fortune of meeting, and I'm so glad that she's been with me. She stood by me through some of my darkest and most uncertain moments. So I want to shout out Carly Stearns and her parents, Doc, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Stearns as well. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank Meharry Medical College for giving me the opportunity and have the good fortune of announcing that I matched in my number one program, Vanderbilt University in Internal Medicine. Hello, uh, my name is Daniel Gilani. Um, I just wanted to begin by just saying thank you to Mahari for the opportunity 
to be here today, and as well as the faculty I've got a chance to work with and learn from over the past four years, just really showing me how to like, posture myself as a physician. Um, I, I mainly just really want to thank my mom, my dad. Uh, I moved away from home when I was 16, and uh, I didn't really appreciate how like, much they'd sacrificed or like, how hard they worked. I think now, being more of an adult in the past like 10 years, I've really gone to see more like uh, the, th the things I had to do really to get to this point, it's kind of hard to say thank you one minute for. Um, and then also my grandma, uh, she's been my mom for the past 12 years. She passed away recently, um, but I know she's a, I know she's very happy right now. What is she? Thank you. Um, I, I matched into uh, emergency medicine at uh, LSU. So um, a very good morning um, to all. And for, I'd like to open, start with the scripture. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalms 103, 1. First and foremost, I'll honor and glory to God um, for his continual faithfulness over my life. Second, I'd like to thank my letter writers and mentors, Dr. Ballard and Dr. James, Dr. Kiefer, Dr. Calvin Smith, Dr. Annika Winden and Dr. Turner, Dr. Mercury, thank you for your guidance and your encouragement. I'd like to thank my, my emperor penguin, my lion, my rock, my husband, who has supported and facilitated not only the birth of my son in the first year of medical school, but this medical degree. I thank you for your unconditional love and generosity. And Timothy, thank you for your inspiration. My mother for her continued prayers, and my sister who is in heaven right now, just bless, just so proud of me. Before she passed, she wanted a picture of me in my white coat. And I never sent the picture in my white coat, but I know she's looking down on me and she's so proud of me. And now I can show her my real white coat with the, with the lame. <laughs> and so lastly, I'd like to thank Meharry Medical College for the opportunity to make this possible. And without further ado, I am Erica Johnson. I matched in pathology at the University of Pennsylvania. So. <laughs> is beating through my chest right now. Ooh, so I've been in this line for about 45 minutes. <laughs> and I probably came up with like 30 different speeches. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here today. It's been a rough journey. Um, those close to me, you all know that this week didn't go as, go as envisioned. Uh, Monday was very hard for me. Um, I take this very seriously and originally you know, I had an interest in surgery, just for full disclosure. And Monday, Dr. Benjamin can tell you, that's the first time in a long time I've, I've broken down. And, you know, I had, a good, I had a, good, a good talk with a buddy of mine. Most of you know him, Roderick. Um, and, you know, he told me, God speaks to you a lot, and he, he's always speaking to you. And, you know, the, the thing is, a lot of the time, we just don't listen. You know, and for the past maybe four or five months, I've just been having these intrusive thoughts, like I don't know if this is the right decision. And then I had the soap, and at first, you know, I was I was devastated to be to be quite frank. And like that's the first time in a long time, you know, throughout these four years that I was actually disappointed in myself and I felt inadequate. And you know, it's just it's just a hard thing to, you know, you devote your life to something. And, and you get told no, and you feel like you're not wanted. So, you know, through, the, through these past four days, I was able to, you know, just take a step back, look in the mirror, really be introspective about it. And, you know, I feel like God did this for a reason, and he put me where I'm supposed to be. So, I don't know if I, I, I didn't thank everybody too. Uh, I thank God already. I wanna thank my mom, uh, my two best friends at home, Herb and Jonathan, um, my letter writers, Dr. Asambola, uh, Dr. Smith, um, and without further ado, I'd like to announce that I will be pursuing emergency medicine at Ascension Providence in Detroit.
right. Hi. All right. My name is uh, Joseph Vanderpool. Um, I'll start off by saying something pretty generic. I'm going to thank my parents. Um, they put up with me. They'll pick up the phone and listen to me complain or talk about really whatever I want. Um, but over the years, you know, it, it really adds up and it helps in more ways that you can count. Um, I also want to thank my re uh, letter writers. I think Dr. Smith's the only one in here right now. Um, what else? And I think the big point that I want to make, I'm really, really excited for everyone in this room to get that white coat with their name on it in the thing that says MD, because that took a lot of effort. Um, I'll be quick now. So I matched in internal medicine at HCA in Nashville. Yeah. Thank you. Three, two, one. I'm standing here before you and I've leveled up. My name is Aaliyah Fonte and I want to start off by saying high five to all of my supporters and prayer warriors throughout the years. It's been four years of medical training here at Meharry, three years, you know, under the influence of the COVID-19 pandemic, two mega exams, step one and step two, and really um, the ability to gain one of a kind friends who have become family and the overwhelming gratitude that I have to my day ones. First of all, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My parents, I love you guys. My family throughout the world. Um, my husband and his family. And then all the one of the kind supporters that I have met throughout this journey. Whether that was a text, a call, you reaching out to me on Med Twitter or Instagram to encourage me, to pour into me, to read over my personal statements, to tell me that I have a place, it means something to me. My genuine thanks to all of my letter writers, to all of my mentors, to my big and my little sib. I have some of them here today, Dr. O, Erica, and a lot of people watching online. I want to shout out some of the Meharry alumni who have been very instrumental in the past few years as well, um, Dr. Dixon, Dr. Wariso, and Dr. Langham. I want to thank God for the family that I have throughout the world who has just been an inspiration. My Aunt Petra, who is a nurse practitioner, my cousin Cheryl, who is a doctor as well in ophthalmology, my cousin, who's a pediatric doctor in the UK. And I just want to say that even though it's been a very challenging time, these past four years are a testimony of God's hand over my life, his purpose for me, and his peace that he has given me to navigate the seasons that were pretty tumultuous at times. His presence and guidance really encouraged me to believe in the potential that he has for me. It's been from tears to triumph, from trials and tribulations to testimony, from confusion to clarity. He is a God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. He is the God who made a way when my pre-med advisor told me there is no way. So without further ado, all praise, thanks, honor, and glory to God that I have matched my number one at OB in OBGYN, and I'll be going to Yale. Thank you. Hey, y'all. So my name is Kaylin Temple. Ooh. Have a little stage fright, so, um, you know. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. All the glory, praise, honor goes to him because without God, absolutely nothing is possible. I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. Um, I love to be around so many people who love God just as much as I do, and we worship God through service, you know, the motto, go for Harry. Um, <laughs> woo, Jesus. I just want to say thank you to my parents for the unconditional love, support, for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself and continuing, continuing to speak life into me every single day. Um, Shout out to my village, my friends, family, and everybody back home watching. Hey. Um, thank you to everybody who has played a part in my success for believing in me, again, when I did not believe in myself, helping to keep me encouraged along the way. Shout out to Meharry for the opportunity, because baby, woo! A fun fact is my great-great-grandfather was a runaway slave that became a doctor at this very institution 
So I just want to say thank you to everybody before us that paved the way and broke barriers. Thank you. Um, so without further ado, I'm asking to my number one at UTMB in Galveston, Texas. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is John Lee Frederick. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God uh, for my being here today. And of course, I'd like to thank my wonderful wife, Rose, um, who's been my rock for the past 11 years. And um, I'd like to thank my beautiful daughter, Jordan, um, who's only two and, and has been uh, making my life easier and um, putting a smile on my face every day. Um, I'd like to thank my parents uh, back home, my siblings, and of course, I'd like to thank my letter writers, um, Dr. Smith, Fremont, um, Dr. Uh, Murkerji, um, Dr. Wachuku, and Dr. Kiefer. And um, I'd also like to shout out to uh, my brethren from the 305, the Ilima, um, and uh, I'm Happy to announce that I match in turtle medicine at uh, Morehouse College. Oh, finally, finally, finally. <laughs> I'm going to start with my thanks so I don't forget to thank anybody. First, to the God who created us, purposed us, and equipped us for this journey. To my mom and dad, Ira and Lynn Thomas, who, whose continual prayers on the, are the only reason why I'm standing here. And both of my parents are teachers, so they have their students watching right now. So thank you to all the students tuning in. <laughs> to my brothers, Ira, Micah, and Joshua. To my family, the Thomas family, the Blakely family. To my grandfather, who's 93 years old, just got out of the hospital. To my friends, who never let me give up on this journey. To my mentor, my PhD mentor, Christine Lovely, who has taught me everything I know about being a physician scientist. To my original medical school class, the School of Medicine class of 2017. To the Meharry Pediatrics Department. To the School of Medicine and the School of Graduate Studies. Thank you all, and I mean this sincerely, for tolerating me for this long. <laughs> to all the black women MD PhDs who walked this path before me. And thank you to all the mentors throughout the years, starting from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and, and even here who believed, me, who believed in me. Meharry is a place that I've called home for the past 10 years. I remember watching my first match ceremony in 2013. I was 23 at that time. I won't say how old I am now. <laughs> but I remember watching the ceremonies and thinking, my time is coming, my time is coming, my time is coming. And today, my time, our time has come. So, believe it or not, I will miss this place, but nothing makes me happier than to announce that I matched into a pediatrics research track program at the Stanford University. Let's go! Thank you all, thank you all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chastity Green, and I am honored to be here before you. Um, first and foremost, all glory, honor, and praise to God, because only he knows, but a very close second goes to my parents, Derek and Michelle Green. Please wave your hands, because this is your time right now, baby. If it wasn't for y'all, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it, and I really appreciate the support. So we match today, and I'm so grateful that you all are here. Um, also to my brother at home, Josh, to my family, my friends, uh, my best friends in Texas, my sister friends here at Meharry, my line sisters who are watching too. Um, I'm just grateful and I'm, I'm honored to share this day with y'all. To my mentors, my letter writers, you guys have really blessed me and have really come through, so I appreciate it. But to my classmates, no matter where y'all go, y'all gonna leave an indelible mark because I'm just honored to know you. Y'all are awesome people. That makes me emotional and I said I wasn't gonna cry, but y'all are. Y'all are amazing, okay? <laughs> um, so before I did my rank list, I fasted, 
ask God for not an institution, not a place, but for three things, and that was a place that I felt safe, a place that I felt supported, and a place that I would be respected. And so without further ado, he saw fit that I match at my number one in emergency medicine at the Johns Hopkins. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, I just want to start by saying thanks to the most important people. Um, so first I want to thank my parents, um, my mom's been pestering me the entire 45 minutes I was in line to make sure I thank her, so I'm a thanker. Um, <laughs> and t thank you to my dad as well, um, I don't know if he's watching but um, I'm sure he's excited and my sister is here with me. Um, and uh, I want to thank my friends, um, Lee and Tina, you guys helped me move in first year. I still remember, and uh, hopefully maybe you can help me move again, I don't know. <laughs> I want to thank my letter writers, uh, Dr. Kim, Dr. Chris Kiefer, uh, Dr. Calvin Smith. Um, you probably have a list going or something, right? Because <laughs> we, we gotta repay you. Um, and so, uh, without further ado, I just wanna say I matched at, um, at the, I guess the best specialty, there's two more people, uh, internal medicine, pediatrics, med peds at the University of Illinois, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> My name is Montreux Curvey, and I am nervous. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas. My first shout out goes to Miss QV at Xavier University of Louisiana. I want to make sure I shout out my MHS classmates because y'all all know what it took to get here. Um, and then I have a lot more to go. Um, also want to shout out to my high school, Michael Lee DeBakey High School for Health Professions. Helped me start my journey and put me on the path to get to where I am now. Um, I want to thank my grandmother, my grandparents who have passed before me. Um, I want to thank my mama, Tammy. I want to thank my daddy, Ralph. I want to thank my bonus dad, Mr. Lee. I want to thank my sisters, Twinkie, Carla, Allison, the kids, Irie, Seven, Evan, Ethan, Jasmine, Jameer. I want to thank my best friends, Leah and Brianna, who are both here. Um, I want to thank my friends who couldn't make it today, but are, who are also here. I also want to thank my friend Haley, who couldn't make it, but she's here with us in spirit. Um, I want to thank my letter writers, Dr. Cummings, Dr. Bean, Dr. Smith. I also want to thank my assistant personal statement writers, Dr. Rebecca Fenton, Dr. Xavier Williams. I would not have submitted an application without those two people. Um, I want to thank my Meharry pen pal, Dr. Dana Marshall. We became pen pals during COVID, and that was such a breath of fresh air. I really appreciated that. Um, and to anyone I left out, if I've ever, if you've ever prayed for me, if I've ever slept on your couch, if you've ever cooked me food, picked me up from the airport, I appreciate you all so much. Um, I want to say to everyone watching, specifically to my nieces and nephews and my little cousins and everyone coming behind me, number one, please know that God listens. He's always listening. He hears everything that you say and don't say all the wishes that you don't want to say out loud and admit, he hears everything. Um, and to go and do those things that scare the living life out of you. My MHS classmates met me on day one, crying my eyes out because I was terrified <laughs> of starting this journey and I'm so glad to be here. Um, and I won't go on any longer. I am specializing in internal medicine and pediatrics I will be seeing patients from ages newborn to 99 in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm going to LSU.
what's up, y'all? Um, my name's Idris Kosoko. Um, I'm gonna keep it short. I don't really, I don't really know what to say right now, honestly. Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short. I really don't know what to say right now. Um, but first things first, I gotta thank God. Um, without Him, I wouldn't be here. Um, next, I wanna thank my family. Uh, my brothers are here. My uncle, my dad, my cousin. Um, my mom watching down, so I'm really grateful she can see this too. Um, I want to thank the class, um, thank everyone at Meharry, uh, thank the faculty, um, everyone that's helped me, my letter writers, um, Dr. Smith, Dr. Fremont, Dr. Dooley, Dr. Austin. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy to be here right now. I'm really glad I got to meet all of you people while I was here. So with that being said, um, I'm at Internal Medicine at Johns Hopkins. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Aris. Um, I just wanna say 48 hours before our applications were due, I was not going to apply. Um, but God, like that's all I keep saying is but God. Um, when I got accepted into Meharry, I had 72 hours to make a decision to pack up and come here and start a new life and chase this dream. And I have a wonderful support system that helped me to do that. And that very day, I called my mom, I told her the news, and her response was, okay, so what do you wanna do? What are we doing about it? Let, do you wanna go? I told her yes, she bought me a one-way ticket, I packed a duffel bag and a suitcase, I had about $400 in my savings account, less than $200 in my checking account, and I came here. No car, nothing. Um, and so what I thought was nothing, it really was a lot, and I didn't realize how much God had blessed me by coming here and the people that I've met. So everyone here at Meharry, thank you. For my classmates, thank you. For my friends, thank you. For the staff members um, downstairs in Cal Turner, working in West Basic, everywhere, thank you. To my letter writers, Dr. Smith, Dr. Pinnock, Dr. Bean, everybody else who kept me motivated and encouraged, and everyone who has prayed for me on the days that I could not have prayed for myself, thank you. When I did not pass my step one exam over the summer, I was distraught. However, Montreal, she just came up here, slept on my couch pretty much every day. Chastity came over every single day and they made sure I made it through. So to my village, my friends here, my friends back home, my family here, my family back home, thank you. I would not have made it without you guys. So, without further ado, I would like to announce that I matched into internal medicine and pediatrics, and I left home, which is New York, in 2011, and I'm proud to say that I'm going back. I am matched at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank God, of course, you know what I mean? Got to give a shout out to the Most High. I'd love to thank my beautiful mother who helped raise me to who I am today, as well as my uh, father as well. My beautiful siblings at home as well, all very successful, all very beautiful. I would like to also thank my good friends, uh, my dog Trevor, my dogs Benson, so on, Julius, Rashid. I'd like to thank all of them. I'd like to thank um, the people that made it happen while I was here. So Dr. Benderman, I would love to thank her. I'd love to thank Miss Carmen Jones, absolutely. And I would definitely, 100,000%, like to thank Dr. Forbes. Dr. Forbes actually brought me back from my lowest point uh, during my first year here. So I had to make sure I shouted her out especially. So thank you very much. Um, in terms of like historical people, I'd like to thank my heroes, MLK, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Asada Shakur, I got to. My musicians, I gotta shout out my musicians. Future Hendrix, I gotta shout out Future. I gotta shout out the Migos, Meek Mill. They were with me in the trenches. I was there. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, without further ado, I would like to say I matched into neurosurgery. I'm going to Rutgers in New Jersey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, wow, my name is Oyendayo Hassan, as you can hear. I also go by Honey. Um, and wow, this has been a journey. I have a story to tell, but uh, we have 60 seconds, so you can catch me later. I will tell it to you. Um, man, but I, I am so grateful to be here today. I wanted to start off by saying that I would not have found my chosen specialty if I did not come to Meharry. Um, my journey at Meharry started, I guess, technically five years ago at the MHS program. And in this program, um, Dr. Austin, who is our anatomy professor, my uh, Meharry twin and I would bother her every day, um, basically every day. And it was this, this doctor who told me that she saw me in this specialty, and that is when I started really thinking about it. Um, my family don't really go to the doctor like that, um, so I definitely didn't know about this specialty at all. And um, I'm so, so thankful, so grateful to God for bringing me here, for carrying me, for opening doors for me that I would not have been able to open for myself. I am unbelievably thankful for my mom. Um, she is my prayer warrior. She has fought many battles on her knees and I would not be here without her. My two amazing sisters who are my cheerleaders, Lola and Joy, um, they, are, they have been there with me, crying with me, um, encouraging me for my aunt who we fondly called Big Mommy, who's also here. Um, for all of my family and friends that are watching, thank you so much for your support, for your love. For, for reminding me of the child of who I am when I forget. Um, thank you so much for the prayers. I'm so grateful to my letter writers and my mentors. I would not be here without you. Um, Leland, I don't know if he's here, but he literally went to five to six, maybe seven iterations of my personal statement with me, and I am forever grateful. Um, Man, this has been a journey, and I am honored and very excited to announce that I match dermatology at UT Austin, one of my top choices. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I had to write this down because I forget it otherwise. Um, first and foremost, I, my name is Brittany Nedema Ezendudike. Um, I would like to start off by just thanking God um, for showing me what a village is, what a true village is. Um, um, I would like to start off by thanking my family, my parents, Jacinta and Vincent DK. Um, they have sacrificed everything for me and for my siblings, and I'm so grateful to them for everything that they've been through for us. I would like to thank all of my siblings, Bright, Kim, Courtney, Daryl, Courtney, who's also up here in the back. We did this. I would not be here without any of you. I can't even see. I would like to thank all of my prayer warriors, both here and abroad, both here on earth and spiritually. I would like to thank all of my letter writers, Dr. Tiffany Turner, Dr. Miguel Paniagua, Dr. Pinnock, Dr. Julie, Dr. Bean, Leland Duggar, you have been amazing. Um, Dr. Johnson, Dr. Dantel Johnson, um, every mentor that I've had, the entire Meharry Pediatrics Department, Dr. Alan Rubin, one of my mentors as well, all of the Meharry bigs that I had, my big, and all of the grads that graduated last year who have helped me through STEP and through matching and interviews and everything. Um, I would like to thank every friend who supported me, Jamal Moss, my guy. Um, thank you for being there for me. All of my friends, all of my classmates, my friends who traveled here to join me today. Thank you for supporting me. 
Um, I've seen a doctor in myself since I was very young, and I would like to thank Mahari for also seeing that doctor in me. <laughs> um, I would like to thank the class of 2023. Um, if you guys can just think about all the hours we studied, all the time that we spent, the thousands and thousands of questions that we've done to be here today. It was not by chance, so don't say you're not supposed to be where you are. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And so, last but not least, without further ado, I would like to announce that, um, first of all, we all eat, yum yum. Second of all, I would like to say that I was a first round draft pick and I matched into my number one choice of pediatrics at UCLA. <laughs> Thank you everyone again. Uh, my name is Joseph Osaboye Abiyade, um, originally from Nigeria uh, and came here by way of Texas. You know, first I just want to give God thanks. Um, I was small in Nigeria uh, dreaming of one day becoming a medical doctor and that was a long time ago and um, went through a bunch of winding road but I still ended up here and I'm so grateful. I also want to thank my family, my wife. <laughs> when I got a scholarship to come to the U.S. to come study, uh, remember I was at Christ for the Nations and I met her and ever since uh, my life has never been the same. She, yeah, she has just stayed with me and <laughs> stuck with me uh, through the hard times, uh, through the good times. She has just been there with me. She's, she's my rock. I don't know, you know if I'll be here without her. My kids, uh, Joseph, Zoe, <laughs> and Daniel, you know, they've just been so supportive all the times. <laughs> all the times. Daddy's studying. <laughs> Daddy's studying. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just so proud of them and just so thankful for all of them. I also want to you know, thank my Harry. Um, I remember... When we were doing our capstone, uh, Dr. Pinock, uh, she she was talking to us and um, she made a quote. You know, said um, we knew we knew you were the people that we wanted here, and we knew you all would devel develop into the people that you have de developed into. You know, she said I saw some of your faces during your interview before you even came to Mehari. And now to be at this point, I am really excited. And um, I was one of those faces uh, at one of those interviews. And I remember uh, she also using that, a line that was close. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what she always tells uh, students just to encourage us, but <laughs> you know, at least it worked for me because I held on to it. I had on to it. I said, um, Harry, she said, uh, we had thousands of applications, but we chose you because you know that we know that uh, you'll be successful. And I held on to that, and I'm glad that I'm here. Um, I just want to thank my friends um, all the times that we've been studying, you know, for so many hours, <laughs> everywhere. This medical school must, we must make our own. <laughs> this medical school must. <laughs> so, uh, Lastly, uh, I want to thank my letter writers, uh, Dr. Kafor, uh, Dr. Smith, Dr. Azokba, Dr. Nadeko, Dr. Paul, and also I want to thank Dr. Nkoma. All the times that I, I was uh, in front of your office uh, uh, studying all day and you just encouraging me, you know, I want to thank everybody that has supported me. Our class, we all eat. And, <laughs> and lastly, um, I want to announce uh, I marched uh, into internal medicine at University of Rochester in New York. All right, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm still very shocked we're about to be someone's doctor. I can't, I can't believe it. I think I'm dreaming. But whew, we made it, you all. 
my name is Kezia Binakrantima Owuswasiedu, originally from Ghana. Shout out to all my immigrants in the house. We made it. <laughs> First of all, I would like to say thank you to the almighty God for being God. I thank him for blessing me with, with opportunities I did not deserve. I thank him for making the impossible possible in my life. If anyone told me that I would match into one of the best uh, pediatric programs in the country, I would have told you that you're a liar because <laughs> I completed my first year with a 2.6 GPA and oh, God is good, y'all. God is good. God is good. And <laughs> I would like to thank my mom. She's my number one supporter. She has been there for me so many times. I've called her many times, crying on the phone in the library, especially to, uh, during step one studying, but she's been there for me. She was always ready to pray for me on the phone, always ready to tell me that she believed in me and I was going to make it. I love you so much, Mom. She's right there. <laughs> she's the best mother in the world. I'm so lucky to have you. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to my dad. He wasn't able to make it today. He, um, his flight was delayed due to the weather. Thank you so much, Dad, for just being, for, thank you for bringing me to this country, first of all. <laughs> thank you for always giving me pocket money when I asked for it, because your girl was broke. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for loving me. I love you, Dad. And um, I would also like to say a special thank you to Inandosier for being a shoulder to lean on during board studying and application season. Your support made this journey very easy for me. Thank you to my letter writers, Dr. Bean, Dr. Aganaga, Dr. Dana from um, John Hopkins. Thank you to my mentors, Dr. Jezere, Dr. Tolu, and Dr. Rhythm. This match wouldn't have been possible without you. I would like to say a special thank you to my big sister, Mercedes. She wasn't able to be here today, but I know she's watching. <laughs> thank you for being a big sister to me ever since I met you in 2019. I would also like to say thank you to the Starbucks Hall of Fame. <laughs> Those um, study sessions really came through. I want to thank my sweeties, Tashan, Kiara, Justine, and Molly. You guys made med school fun. It was hard, but I had some fun times with you guys, and I really appreciate you guys, and I'm so proud of all of us. I love you too. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my college roommate. She's here, right there. <laughs> she also came to support me. Love you so much, Mel. I also say thank you to my friend, Sasha, who also came to support me, too. She has been through it with me during this interview season. Thank you so much, sister. I love you. And I also want to say thank you to my UMass friends who are currently watching from home. Thank you to all my family and friends for supporting me with prayer and money. <laughs> As the Bible says, I can do all, th all things through Christ who strengthens me. I imagine to my number one program in pediatrics, I'm going to Baylor, I'm going to Texas Children's. <laughs> Thank you. I told the president and the chair of the board that they would be very happy with the places that you all are going for residency. Distinguished platform guests, faculty envelope presenters, faculty that made it here, staff, parents and loved ones of the class of 2023. Congratulations, class of 2023. You are going to such wonderful places for residency. Your class is the second of this new curriculum, and you are continuing to forge a new path for those Meharians coming behind you. This year, we had three wonderful women match into military residencies. Four, that's right, four, never had it before, ophthalmology matches. As well as fantastic matches in places such as Mayo for internal medicine, of course, Johns Hopkins, LSU, Rutgers, Morehouse, Duke, Baylor, Yale, UAB, UCLA, Northwestern, Howard, and so many more. And the following specialties, internal medicine, pediatrics, OB, family, surgery, psych, 
that one beautiful black lady in orthopedics, radiology, that one guy in neurosurgery, right? ENT in plastic surgery. Your class had a 96.7% match rate. And 42.8% of you matched into primary care. As you embark on this next phase of your medical journey, the nights of studying for FHDM units in three, five A and B, seven, nine, will start to make sense. The long nights of call on OB, internal medicine, and those early morning rounds of surgery will have knitted together such a strong foundation of medical knowledge, compassionate patient care, and professionalism that when you encounter patients, difficult clinical scenarios, and stressful situations, there's only one thing to do. Push your shoulders back, hold your head up high, and say, I am a Meharian, and I got this. Always remember this place in Nashville, Tennessee, Meharry Medical College, is home. We will keep the lights burning for you. Congratulations again, and Godspeed on this next phase in your medical journey. Before I invite the president and Dr. Jeanette Southpaw up to give you that magical person all of this money, have you all put in your envelopes that you can have a chance to win this good pot of gold? Has everybody put in their envelope? Okay, Dr. Southpaw, shake it up. <laughs> yep, all the envelopes. Dr. Hildred? Of course, you are the boss. <laughs> wow. The winner is Jennifer Rascala. <laughs> Jennifer, so can you collect your pot of gold from the Office of Academic Affairs? We will count it up for you, give it to you in a nice envelope, but you can take pictures with it right now. Come on up. <laughs> we are about to have our closing prayer, and then we invite you all to go outside with your families and hang up in front of the Meharry postage outside so that you can have your story videotaped and broadcast as well. Please, let's um, bow our heads for a prayer. Father God, we thank you for a successful match. We thank you for bringing us through this journey so far, God, and for making this a success for us, Lord. We ask that you keep guiding and protecting us, even as you have done all these years, God, as we move ahead um, to go into our various residencies, God. We thank you for our families. Thank you for everyone here. We ask that you bless us and be with us, God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go celebrate. Yeah.